In the last tutorial, we went over how to create a quest for your RPG Maker MZ game. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how you can add and remove NPCs from your party. Now, I've created a special area just where we can do this, but you can do this anywhere in your own map. Here we go. This is only the beginning of what RPG Maker can do. Have a look at this. This is what's called parallax mapping, and I'm going to get to that in another video in the near future. But I thought I'd show you guys exactly what RPG Maker could do, and this is only the beginning. You can go much further than this. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So firstly, you're going to want to make another character. I've already done this, I've gone into the character editor, and I've made Kine, the new priest that the characters are going to recruit. So we're just going to add an NPC over here, and she'll be the guild master. Now talking to her, she's just going to say, Hello there. I've got a priest available for hire, if you're interested. We hit OK. We're just going to go show choices, yes or no. If we say yes, she's then going to say, Meet Kain, your brand new priest. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change party member. We're going to select Kain. We're going to add her in. If it's your first time having her in the party, click initialize. And what that's going to do, we'll hit OK. And what that's going to do is when you hit initialize, whatever stats you've got here, it's going to bring her into the party on those stats. So if she was level 5 and I hit initialize, when she comes into the party, she'll be level 5. So we'll just leave her as level 2. And now Kine is in the party. We'll show some text, which will be dim and in the middle. Kine joined the party. And then what we'll do is when no, she'll just say, Come back when you're in need of an extra hand. Now what we're going to do is go into a new event page, load up that image again, and then what we're going to do on the left hand side we're going to tick if actor Kine is in the party. If she is, then it won't play this, it'll play this. And what she'll say is, do you wish to part ways with Kine? And then we'll add choices, yes or no. If we say no, she's just going to tell us, hmm, have fun then. If we say yes, she's going to say, okay then, time for Kine to come home. And then what we're going to do is change party members, remove Kine. So that's the first part of this video. The second part of this video is we're going to actually make Kine an NPC in this room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new event just in the corner here. I'm going to load up Kine's graphic. And she's just going to be standing in the corner. And she's just going to say, I really want to go on an adventure. Next what we're going to do is make a new event page with no Kine graphic. and what we're going to do is set the actor, Kine, to be in the party. So what that's going to do is if Kine's not in the party, she's just going to be over here. And what we'll do is we'll give her a random movement pattern. And she can just walk around at a normal pace. We're just going to hit OK. So now if we load this up... See, now you can see Kine walking around over here. I really want to go on an adventure. Hello there, I've got a priest available for hire if you're interested. Yes. Meet Kine, your brand new priest. Kine joined the party, and as you can see, Kine disappeared. She's no longer wandering around the area. What we can then do is talk to her again. Do you wish to part ways with Kine? Yes. Okay then, time for Kine to come home. And now, she's back. Another thing we can do is if we have Kine in the party, we can send her back on the world map. So we're going to click over to the world map, and in the top left hand corner, that's where I like to have all my parallel events and whatnot. We're going to change this trigger down here to parallel. And we're going to call this event send Kine home. And this event's only going to be available if the actor Kine is in the party. So if Kine's in the party, and then we're going to make a conditional branch. And what we're going to do is go over to the last tab and where it says button we're going to change this to page up. So what we're going to do is inside this if button page up is being pressed, we're going to create a text box, which will be kind. And she's just going to say, is it time for me to go home? Give the player a choice, yes or no. If the player says no, let's carry on then. If the player says yes, I'll be at the guild hall if you ever need me. 
And then what we're going to do is remove her from the party. Change party members, kine, remove. Okay, we're going to hit apply. And now we're going to jump back in, recruit Kine, and then send her back to the guild hall when, when we're on the world map. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, then scroll down and hit the like button. It really helps out with getting my video out to more people. Anyway, let's go. So we'll go down over to the guild hall and recruit Kine. At the moment, if I press page up, nothing happens. Now we're in this awesome looking guild hall. Look at him. What's he doing? Wanna go questing sometime? Um, no thanks. Okay. Alright, and here's Kine. I really wanna go on an adventure. Alright, well let's hire you. Hello there, I've got a priest available for hire, if you're interested. Yes. Meet Kine, your brand new priest. Kine has joined the party, and she's disappeared from the room, she's no longer in this room. And you can see her there in the party. Now if we go out to the world map and press page up... Is it time for me to go home? No. Let's carry on then. And she's still there in the party, so let's do that again. Is it time for me to go home? Yes. I'll be at the guild hall if you ever need me. And now Kine's no longer in the party. As you can see, now she's back in the guild hall because we've dismissed her from the party. I hope you stick around for more RPG Maker MZ tutorials because I've got so much more planned. Just stick around, trust me, I have an entire notebook full of content ideas. If you love RPG Maker, then scroll down, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.